All right, let's take a look at that. We mentioned the Brewers a little bit earlier. Let's uh, get back on them. Milwaukee at Baltimore today. A really good pitching matchup in this one as well, too. Uh, Corbin Burns going for the Brew Crew and John Means for Baltimore. Remember, guys, both of these guys were involved in no hitters last year. And I say involved because Corbin Burns didn't get the uh, credit for the no hitter because he got pulled there at the end. But, uh, you know, Means got one back in May and Burns part of that no hitter for the Brewers in September. Uh, Milwaukee. Uh, right now, a dollar seventy favorite uh, in this one. Um, let's uh, take a look at this uh, game here. Jeff, uh, why don't you kick us off here? Thoughts about the Brewers and the Orioles? Yeah, I don't think it's any secret. I mean, the, this Brewer team is really struggling to, to hit the baseball. You know, both teams are, for that matter. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm going to officially ask to add something here to the card uh, in doing with this game as well. But you look at the Brewers so far this season. I mean. A disaster. Uh, they're a little better against lefties, but you know, against lefties last year they struggled. You know, haven't been good really against anyone this year. This is really just a play that I made a lot last season. I like Means. I think he's the one you know kind of guiding light that the Baltimore Orioles have. Uh, I think he's a terrific pitcher. You know, occasionally he won't have a good start. He wasn't great in the first uh, game. Just pretty solid, good pitcher. I think Mark kind of hit on it at one point where. Maybe after the Corbin Burns start in that opening day outing, we kind of wondered about him. He wasn't real good. They can't hit. Um, I had a lot of success last year backing Means in the first five. Um, you're always going to get good prices on them because of how bad their lineup is. But I'm starting to see them break out a little bit. They scored four runs yesterday. I like some of the kids they have in that lineup. Cedric Mullins, a couple other guys. I want to avoid the bullpens here because obviously, as we know, Milwaukee has a significantly better bullpen. But this is really just a play that I'm going to continue to start to make as the year goes on. I made it a lot last season. I'm going to take Baltimore first five plus a half a run. Um, you know, at home here, you're, you're facing a team that can't hit. I like means. I think he's right up there with a guy like Burns. Um, I'm also going to throw in, and these are plays I don't make very often, but I have a little bit to back it up. No run in the first inning. I'm playing it. All we need is six outs, as we know. I know it comes across as kind of one of those bets that's become very trendy with these, you know, square betters. But you look at these two uh, pitchers last year, 46 and 12 to no run in the first inning combined. They were very good. I like the matchup. Yelich, obviously, we're going to see him. He's not been great against lefties. I think this is a pretty decent matchup. You have two good pitchers on the hill here. I just don't think we see a run in the first inning. We got some numbers to back it up. So, I'm going to go no run in the first inning between the Brewers and Orioles. I'm also going to go with the Orioles first five plus a half a run, even money. Yeah. The numbers back that up and the starting pitchers back that uh, stat up too. Uh, and again, very popular bet uh, here in Vegas. People love uh, betting the, the run or no run in the first inning. So plus keep, keep in call. mind real quick. Uh, I always like the no run or uh, the first five plus a half in the case that it is high. Look, it's conceivable this is nil nil uh, after yeah. five. You know, th these are two solid pitchers, two lineups that are really struggling right now. Um, and, you know, I want to be covered in the case. As long as I'm not losing after five, I think it's conceivable Brewers could win the game late. You know, they put some runs aboard against the bullpen or something. All right. Base winner, your, uh, your thoughts and their numbers back that up? Well, I like one of his plays, the team not to score in the first inning. I think that that's well thought out. I think that's a good play. And if you take a look at my offensive ratings here with the respective splits, you know, Baltimore is the worst team in baseball versus right-handed pitching. Milwaukee versus lefties, 20th. So that's a good start right there. Corbin Burns, and, and I will say that his last time out, his start was bad. The weather was bad. In Chicago, that might have played into it. He threw a, by those three metrics, swinging strike percentage, hard hit per nine, and expected walk rate. He was in the 38th percentile out of about 3,000 games uh, that pitchers have started since last June. And conversely, Means was in the 55th percentile. So if you just compare those two games together, Means had a better uh, outing to start off with. But hey, Burns is my the base winner number one, and he's there for a reason. And I think if you look at his granular stats from last year, I mean, this is why. He had an expected strikeout rate of 32%. That's a 98 percentile. His hard hit per nine, 6.4. That's a 97 percentile. And this is since June of last year. Expected walk rate, 7.3%. He is a little bit wild comparatively to his other stats. So that's a 53.6 percentile. But, but the average of his percentiles uh, comes out to 0.83. And then if you rank that with all the stars, all the pitchers, 
uh, that started last year. He's in the 94th percentile. And then conversely, I've got means in the 46th percentile. But, uh, you know, if you're going up against a base winner, number one, you're a crap, you're the worst offense in baseball. That's not a good sign for run production. And then, you know, this Brewers offense, I, I mean, for them not to score, I think that's a, that's a good idea. Well, uh, to back that up, I, I do like the Brewers in, in this game, uh, you know, for several of those things you just said, and especially with, with Corbin Burns. I'm a fan of his. Uh, I will say, I though. That, you know, oops, sorry. You know, and I was going to say one other thing here. You're talking about Baltimore and that offense is is pretty, pretty putrid. I mean, they are four uh, for 47 with runners in scoring position. So uh, they can't get it done. They're very, very inconsistent. But I do like Burns today. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, and look, I, I'm not going to – I thought I was decent at math. I feel like I'm decent at, at figuring things out. I don't know what the 46th percentile means in the grand scheme of things, but it seems like uh, Mark is 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 completely uh, devaluing John Means a bit. John Means is a damn good pitcher, and he was – I mean, not far off yeah. from Burns' numbers. Look, his season, I thought, petered out a bit towards the end last year. But, you know, look, I, what, what Mark said about their lineup – you're right. The goal that I have here is, here's what I'm hoping, quite honestly. I'm just hoping that Means pitches well and doesn't give up a run. As long as that happens, I'm going to win. I'm yeah. banking on it. It's oh, he'll, he'll nil nil here. I think we could see it. Um, you know, he has pretty good numbers against a lot of kids on, on the Orioles. So, you know, maybe maybe we can get someone to get a hold of the ball and put it into the right field bleachers or something. All I need is one swing of the bat. Means just pitch well. I'll bank on that. It worked for me last year. How about let's do, how about let's do this? Let's have nil nil at the end of one. Let's have basically a two two game at the end of five. Let's let uh, the Brewers get a few runs in the seventh. Uh, maybe a four three final. I win, you win, we all win. How's that's, that? That would be the you know that's always the the grand uh, plan. So yeah, let, let's I'm down with it. Let's do it. Thank you.